Hello and welcome to another edition of Backwind Stories produced by Jermaine Media. Today we're in the Glendale Springs community of Ash County, North Carolina, and we're here to learn about a larger than life character named Uncle John Woody. Our tour guide for this adventure is Mickey Pruitt. He's waiting for us inside. Let's go check it out. Hey Mickey. Hey Scott, how you doing today? Doing fine, doing fine. This is, uh, this is Uncle John Woody's house. Now he was actually your uncle. Well, uh, everybody just knew him as Uncle John. He was my Aunt Virginia's uncle. But, everybody loved Uncle John. He was a, uh, he had the best stories anybody ever heard. He had this huge booming voice and uh, he was a great storyteller. He was born to tell tales. So. See, that's why I think you're related to him. <laughs> okay, could be, could be. <laughs> <laughs> the booming voice and telling tales. Yeah. So. So he was born in Ash County? Uh, in 1888. And uh, he, uh, he decided he wanted to go out west to be a cowboy. And, uh, How old was he when he did that? He was in his uh, late teens, early 20s. I don't know the exact date. So he was, he was full of piss and vinegar right there. Yeah, he married, uh, he married Edie, Aunt Edie, and uh, they went out west together. And uh, uh, he wrangled horses and herded cattle. And uh, then in the mid-20s, they came back to Ash County and, and purchased this farm. So he came back to Ash County. Why did he come back? You think? Uh, well, they just came back to start a family, and and, uh, and uh, you know he wanted to he wanted to buy a piece of property here and stuff. He had known about this place for a long time. And, uh, so this had, house that we're in is actually fairly old. It was old when John bought it, uh, and then uh, in the kitchen where we're standing now, he added this on after he bought the house. Now, when Uncle John bought this house, this room was something he added on. And there's something unique in this room, isn't there? John had to be different from everybody else. He put a well in his kitchen. That's pretty efficient. Let's go check it out. All right, so what we got? Well, you know, a lot of times old houses, they might have had a spring box or a spring house or something. Mm -hmm. But there's no spring here. So John dug this well and built the kitchen around it after he purchased the house. And this is the only source of water in the house or on the property. And you can see where the, the wood came across here where they would they Yeah, would where, the, where the windlass was with the rope and the bucket it went down. Mickey, there's something unusual about this particular hallway and it has something to do with Uncle John's trips out west. Well, if you'll notice, especially for a house this old, this hallway is huge. It's, it's really very wide. wide. It's yeah. very wide. And at one time the ceiling was a 12 foot ceiling. Uncle John had this built so he could ride his horse inside the house without getting off the saddle. He loved his horse. So. I reckon so. And so it's, and, and it's, it's no coincidence that there's hay bales in the Probably hallway. Probably not. No, they're probably left over. So. <laughs> All right, Mickey, where are we now? Well, this would be the dining room. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite parts of a house because I like to eat. So. <laughs> now, do you remember having any meals here? I can't remember a particular meal because I was so young, but I'm mm -hmm. sure I've had several here at one time or another. And I guarantee it was good. Oh, I'm positive it was good. Another reason it was good is because you were probably hungry. We used to put up hay over here when I was a kid, uh, uh, all the way up through like the early 70s. I can remember driving the hay truck from here over to Uncle Harvey's farm on the other side of the test farm. And how old were you? 13, 14. <laughs> You'd already been driving for five or six years. Probably so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's on the road. It's awesome. Uh, it didn't matter. It didn't matter back then. <laughs> Now, 
So Mickey, what do you think this room was? I think this was like the living room or the sitting room. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still got the big high ceilings. Yeah. They didn't close this in. They probably didn't stay in here much after they lowered the ceilings to the other part of the house. But they did have a fireplace. They had a fireplace. And as you can see, it's been closed off. I, the bricks and mortar all been removed altogether. Right. And uh, I like this old rug down here. Well, it's not really a rug. Well, it's patterned to look like maybe a Persian <laughs> rug or something, but it's linoleum. And you can see it's on, it just goes to the edges of the room area where the furniture is set. So there was, no, there was no sense in buying linoleum that you're not going to use, meaning if it was under the furniture, it was worthless. You couldn't see it. No, you didn't need it. So, so they got by as cheap as they could. I was so. going to use another word, but anyway. <laughs> Frugal. <Anyway. laughs> chapter of Uncle John's life like? When, when did he last live here? To the best of my knowledge, uh, I, would, I would guess 73, 74, something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but he moved in with my Aunt Virginia, my Uncle Harvey, mm -hmm. and uh, his sister uh, Mabel lived there with him. That's Virginia's mother. And they all lived together in the, in the house until Uncle John died in uh, uh, 1986. And that's, he was 98 years old. And considering the life he lived, that's an incredible story in and of itself. Oh, it sure is. Uh, uh, and John was well remembered. Everybody in the community know who Uncle John was. Uh, he had these great tales, you know, from his younger days out west, and uh, he was he was more than glad to share them. So he was he was quite the character. Well, Mickey, thanks for sharing it with us. It's Thank you, pleasure. Scott. It's yep. been fun. Cool.